How's it going guys? I hope you guys are doing well. I thought we would make another fun video because I get a lot of requests over the years. Over the years, I say this like I've been doing this a long time. People want to know about making mountains. So I love making mountains. There's a million videos on YouTube, but I thought it would be fun to just make one. So if you're new here, make sure that you like, subscribe, turn the bell on, do all that stuff. So when I upload videos, which I've been doing a lot of lately, you will be notified. So let's do a fun little mountain and that's it. I'm not gonna do anything else like no trees or this or that, but let's just do a standard and a basic mountain, something that'll really get you in the mood to wanna to continue to finish that particular picture. So let's go jump right into it. Okay, so I've already coated the canvas here and I use a mixture, I use Gamblin products for everything. And I used clear gel and titanium white paint and I mix that about 50-50, makes a very, very thin white paint and I spread that around. It's very similar to like a liquid white. I just prefer the Gamblin products, I believe in their products because they put a lot of time and effort into everything that they do. So let's grab us, uh, yeah, let's get a two inch and I'm gonna throw in just a simple, simple background so we can get started here, okay? Simple background. I'm actually going to make a, a nice little background, but simple. Two colors. All right, two colors. Let's get a little red on the horizon here. And, and maybe I will finish this later. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Oh, get a little hair there. No problem. He's creeping back up on me. All right, so I'm just throwing in some color here and I am, I'm putting it down here. And you know, so when I finish this, uh, this will be the water section down here. All right. <clears throat> so just getting some of this beautiful red color in. All the colors uh, that I use are gonna be listed below in this vid. All right, there we go. Now, right over into some blue, Prussian blue. Let's get a little bit of that going. And you don't have to clean your brush. You can just go right into it. Right into it, just like this, see? Boom, nice. Something like that right about there. I am gonna wipe this off though, because <clears throat> I do want it to get, I do want it to get lighter. I don't want it to, I don't want the blue to eat all of the, uh, the nice, beautiful little pink color we got going. All right. I never, I never uh, clean the brushes during a painting. I wipe them off very well and it seems to work just fine. All right, so look, <clears throat> this is just going right back in. I'm just, just bringing these two colors together. Nothing hard about this here. This is just kind of like our backdrop for our mountain. All right, and I'm just kind of work it back and forth like this. This kind of blends it at the same time too, see? All right, and I guess we could, uh, for the sake of finishing this at a later time, we could put a little bit of this nice, beautiful blue color down here like this. Because this will stay wet for a few days, you know, workable for a few days. You know, something like that. Right about there. Give it a good wipe on the paper towel. <clears throat> and then I'll just go back and forth real quick. Very effective way to kind of apply color and blend it at the same time. All right, just leave a little bit of that red in there. See? And off we are. All right, <clears throat> set this brush here for a second. Now, if you want to put a cloud in, go ahead. I, you know, probably, you know what? Just for the heck of it, why not? Let's do it. Let's do it real quickly. So I'm probably gonna grab, you know what, I'm gonna grab this little baby fan brush and let's do this. Let's get a little bit of red, just red and white color on the fan brush. A Little bit of red, a little bit of white. I'm gonna put one cloud in behind this mountain. So let's do this. Let's just put a little one right here, all right? Just for the sake of having fun. <clears throat> All right, little circles or something like this. Smear the color around. Doesn't really matter, you know, how the color goes on. You can glob it onto the fan brush. I don't recommend that. 
but you can't. You just get the color down like this, and then let's, let's do another little layer here, something like this. See, get it on there. This isn't a cloud lesson. I have a video on that actually, on how to make nice little clouds. All right, let me set this fan brush down here real quick, and. I'm just going to go back to this big two inch that we used. It's still a little dirty. I'm just going to wipe it off. Let me just set this cloud down here into the sky. <clears throat> Same thing here. Just going to blend the bottom of it out. That's all. All right. Not a very detailed cloud, but it's just a, a little change in the sky, I suppose. Give it a beautiful little lift. Give it a little wrap like this. Boom, boom, boom. All right, <clears throat> and there, now we have something, right, I suppose. All right, now to the fun part. I'm gonna grab me a knife, all right, beautiful knife. And I have me some blue, I have like a blue, black, brown, uh, and a little bit of red kind of mixed up here in a pile. Just a dark color, just a dark base is all it is. All right, I'm gonna get some of that onto the knife and I'm gonna go I'm going to come right up. I'm going to make a big mountain. I'm going to come right up here like this. Yeah, look at that nice little point on the top there. I'm going to drop them down. And I'm going to go like this. A little bump there like this. And boom, comes this way. Just like this. Bring them down. And you can really, like, you know, change things as you go. Make it drop down like this. Another little little peak there if you want. I mean, you could just do all, all kinds of stuff. And we'll scrape some of the paint off. But this is just applying the color at this point. See, I'm just applying the color. I'm just getting it down. That's all that I'm doing. And then I think, you know what? Why not? Why not? Let's get a little bit more over here. I'm just making all kinds of little bumps, and I, I normally never, <laughs> never make mountains this big. Boy, <laughs> here's the funny part. All that beautiful pink that we put in, it's kind of covered. You see that little bit right there? That's all right, though. That's all right. I was just going to do blue originally, anyways. All right, let's see here. Let me set the knife down. All right, we, so we put some base color, right? Two inch. Let's just pull some of this out. I love, I actually love doing this. I really do. This is so satisfying. And anybody who does this or tries this will know exactly what I'm talking about. It is just satisfying to pull this color down and just watch it softly mix, you know, into the, uh, the, you know, the base coat underneath here. Give it a little nice little nudge like this. Oh yeah. See that? All right. I'm just I'm just pulling that color down. Pulling it. Put this one in the front if you want. Just like that, see? And you could do this as, as long as you want to, as long as, you know, we'll get your mountain how you want it. Okay. All right, brush is up there. Got, got something going here. <clears throat> now, I'm going to grab our knife. And just for the purposes of demonstration, get some nice white color, pulling it out nice and flat on the knife. Get some color on there. Then come right up here. I'm going to start right around here somewhere, and I'm just going to drop some of this color in like this. Just get it on there. Get it on there. And I suggest reloading your knife, you know, it often. See how every time I go off the canvas, I'm reloading. Every time up here, put some, maybe it drops down like this. Drop some in here. And this is just the highlight color. We're going to put this on first. 
And then we'll come back and drop some nice little shadows in. I'm going to make sure we cover this edge up here, right there. See that? Pull some of this down. And then we can start working, you know, over here. Just like this. But yeah, I absolutely love, I love doing this because it just, you can watch something come to life right in front of your eyes. And it's just so awesome. And you can add so many different elements. If you're new at this, I would recommend definitely taking your time, you know, experimenting around, you know, doing different things so you don't get discouraged because a lot of times um, if you put too much of a base coat down, a lot of times the paint will not come off of the knife and that becomes, that becomes a problem. All right. All right. So now I'm going to take some blue and uh, some white and I'm just going to mix that together and that'll give us a good little shadow color. Nice little good shadow color for the opposite stuff. The opposite stuff made no sense for the uh, the opposite side of the mountain. So, so like here, let's see, we can we can drop some this way. See, bring it right down that side of the mountain. All right, same thing over here. See, in the opposite direction generally. All right, put some back there like this. In little areas here, see? Get some in there. All right. And always step back. Always step back. It's so, so important. If you don't step back, you, you're not going to really see the full effect of what's, of what's happening. So this is going to come right down like this. A little bit in there, see? have a look here. I'm going to get a little bit more of a bright white color. It looks like a little bit in the back there. Something like that. All right. Now this one here, let's make this one let's make this one a little closer. So I'm going to get some white. This is like some pure white and I'm going to kind of come up here and I'm going to bring this one like this. Look. Right there just for right now. Something like that, okay? Just right about there. Should be good. Should be good. All right, now I'm going to get a little bit of our base color, a little bit of our blue. It'll darken that up a little bit, and I'm going to bring this whole thing a little forward. So on this shadow here, I'm going to kind of drop in, look, drop in some of this color, just a darker color, see? And the darker base should bring it, you know, a little bit closer. And I'm just really just spotting around, you know, some areas like that. It'll help. And I'll put some here, too. I think we could use it. But I'm telling you, this is so much fun to do. If, you, if you've never tried this before, I would highly recommend, I would highly recommend trying this because you will find that when you start painting, Anything that may be going on in your life, um, this tends to really, really help a lot. A lot more than I can describe to you. So I would just definitely recommend, you know, trying it out. All right. Okay, now, <clears throat> let me grab the uh, big two-inch brush, give it a little little quick swat and wipe here. Set the knife down and I'm going to just, let's do this real quick. I'm just, I just want to distort this just a little bit, just a tiny bit. Just kind of, you know, coming in here. It's important if you, if you have a dirty brush, wipe it off or if you're more comfortable with cleaning it, go ahead and do that. I just don't do that. So I'm going to swipe up on this and this is going to, this is going to set it backwards into the, into the landscape. See? You'll be able to see in a second when I move my hand out of the way. <clears throat> now I'm going to go over to this side and just give it a little tap right here. I'm not touching the, the close one here. All right. I'm going to 
and distort some of this too here. Just like this. Come back here, give it a good wipe off, and then same thing. I'm gonna do I'm just lifting real carefully and I'm barely touching the paint. Well now I'm gonna hit it hard right there. I'm gonna kind of blend that in just a little bit. Now let's go over here. I'm gonna tap a little firmer here because this is this is one that is in the front or closer. All right. Tap, give this a nice little lift. All right, and if you really want this to stick out, grab your knife, get some more of that base color, straight up dark base color, and watch this. Here's the white, watch. And now we're gonna really bring this one uh, closer. So come up here like this, change your angles just a little bit, all right? Something like that right about there, see? And this will definitely you know, help you understand that that mountain's closer. That. And you can just go all day. I could just I could just keep going for hours. With this, I'm just going to slightly lift up without distorting it too much. All right. Tap the bottom a little bit like this, just to give it a little little swirls. This will kind of help uh, mystify it. All right, and then let's do this. Let's just do a little here, like this, why not? Why not? Let's make the whole thing look soft. All right. All right, let's see. Yeah, so it's like I'm stepping back right now and it's just like, it's amazing the stuff that you can do. Like you can now, all right, let me wipe the knife off. You can come back with, you can get some beautiful, you know, some, some, pure, some pure white and you can really come in here, you know, and then work some magic like you can extend this like that you know so many great things you can do see it, it runs right down there now you know if you want if you felt like you need a little more there you could put some there you know wherever change up some angles make a little uh, get a little of your blue color and make like a little you know thing here a little thing here hmm. what did I just say get a little blue Let's try that again and make like a little, what's this called? You know what I'm talking about, right? Where the snow drops off and, and forms. You know, it runs down like this. It runs down the mountain, see? And this is where you can just continue to just have a great time and do all kinds of stuff. All right, back to the white. Since we put in this little, is this a glacier? I don't know what this is called. <laughs> little highlight in there where the sun might pick up on it. Just boom, right down like that. All right, <clears throat> now back to this guy here. And then boom, just give him a little soft tap. Lift up. If you want to put some shadow in or some other side, you can come right here and just boom. Pop it right in, see? Just that nice dark base color, see? And you could just make a whole canvas dedicated, you know, to a mountain if you want. It's up to you. See that? I'm just kind of like, yeah. You can actually make a whole canvas literally a mountain and I would suggest practicing and doing stuff like that because it's just so it's just so much fun it's so much fun to do and I think we need a little bit more white right there something like that just to ride that down and maybe break that line up a little bit Get a little blue and white in there a little darker blue But literally, you could just totally have a blast with this. I do all the time. And then you can come and add like some shadow snow in here, and then you could come back and add highlights. 
you know, it's just amazing what you can do with with this knife even too. It's just it's incredible. You see, you could just keep going and going. Or if you want it to look like it drops down, you can get some just some of the blue and white again and you know, it can come, it could come over and it could spill over. See, look, it could just the snow drops down. Maybe it maybe it's dropping down into uh, maybe there's a lake here or something. You know, down here or whatever. But just balance back and forth with some white, some blue, white. All right, I keep wiping that knife off, and then you know, come in here and just kind of give it a little, little distortion. You know, it makes it look a little more misty and soft when you give it a little tap. You know, especially when you give it a lift, lift up on it. Just a very soft, soft lift. Over here, I'm just grinding it a little bit. All right, let me step back and have a look. The only thing if I had to do here, if there was anything I would change, I would just uh, make this not so dark here. So just look, fix that just a little bit. See, break that line up. just so it's not extremely dark, because this is technically further back. All right, well, I hope that was fun for you guys, just a quick little mountain demo. If you want to see a part two, or if you want me to add maybe a lake and, or you know whatever, a couple of trees or whatever, comment below, let me know, and I will, I will pick up in a part two video where I left off with this. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope all of you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, do all that cool stuff that helps these videos get out there. And don't forget, try painting. It really, it really can help you. It helped me. If you're new here and you just started watching me, look back and see where I came from. This really saved everything for me, saved my life. So that's about all. Take care. I'll see you guys in the very next video.